Good evening. My name is Ray Shipman, and this is my event operations volunteer assignment, the Sabrina Cohen Adaptive Beach Day. A little bit about the Sabrina Cohen Foundation. Uh, Sabrina endured a C3-5 spinal cord injury in 1992 at the age of 14 from a car accident. I personally have a relationship with Sabrina through my job with Memorial Rehab. Um, ever since Sabrina's car accident, she's been confined to a wheelchair. Uh, after a long recovery, she's been able to live quite a normal life, graduated from high school and graduating from University of Miami. Uh, since her injury, Sabrina has traveled the country um, with her new life with paralysis, urging and inspiring young students to make sure they drive carefully. Along with those speaking engagements, Sabrina is a huge advocate for the quality of life for individuals living with physical disabilities. In 2006, Sabrina established the Sabrina Coin Foundation to educate the public about the cause and raise funds for research. The Adaptive Beach Day, which was a great event for me to volunteer with. The Adaptive Beach Day is based down in Miami Beach, uh, a beach day made accessible for the physically disabled. Uh, those physically disabled uh, individuals uh, include individuals who are wheelchair bound, amputations, and some cognitive disabilities. Volunteering at this event, which made it so huge and so different from other events, was the accessibility equipment at this event. The equipment here was like no other. They made it very easy for wheelchairs to get as close as possible to the water and with the accessible beach chairs allowed for individuals who had never been able to get in the water before that opportunity. So it was a fun and, and fun filled event for the, not only the physically challenged community but the family as well. My role, as you guys are aware, I work with the physically disabled community at the Memorial Rehab Institute. My role was recruiting volunteers to come help at this event, as well as reaching out to some of the individuals that we serve and recruiting them and just letting them know about this event. We were able to bring out over 15 volunteers from our rehab staff. Uh, it was very vital for us to interact with those patients, former patients of ours at this event. It was also a crucial role of mine to make sure we had the adequate uh, qualifications and volunteers to help with participant transfers. Some of these transfers are very delicate because the individuals who have these physical disabilities have to be surely moved in an appropriate manner. Volunteering demands. The event was heavily dependent upon volunteers. Like I mentioned, our memorial rehab staff was there but there were tons of other volunteers. Uh, like I mentioned prior as well, these volunteers who were dealing with transfers had to be very qualified. I myself am not a qualified physical therapist, uh, but I was qualified in lifting heavy things. Not the participants per se, but it was coolers, <laughs> tents, setting up hours uh, before the event. Safety was a huge factor in having this event. Uh, waivers were signed by all participants and volunteers had to be sure to sign these waivers as well. Uh, all in all, it was the experience of a lifetime. Uh, these volunteering demands were never, uh, have never seen or been involved in an event with demands like this, but overall it was rewarding. I uh, was able to get a little media coverage from the event. Uh, it was the raise awareness for this event. Uh, like I mentioned, there was no, has never been any event like this in uh, the Tri-County area. So for me, uh, it was a great opportunity to raise awareness, uh, to let the community know that our rehabilitation center stands behind what Sabrina and her foundation is doing. Uh, it was also an opportunity to give an update to the community about events similar to this that we offer. Um, as you guys are all aware, branding, uh, I represent Memorial Rehab, so it was a great branding opportunity for our organization, and it shows our social responsibility. Uh, of course, this is a, uh, we, we don't receive revenues or we don't charge for events like this, but it just shows our social responsibility and our commitment to the community. Logistics. 
Jixus was a huge role of this. It took us months of preparation uh, just to make sure we, that we were all on the same page. Uh, we had different uh, committees, whether it was set up, breakdown, uh, volunteering coordinators, uh, snacks, uh, participant engagement, because everyone who was at this event didn't necessarily get in the water. It's a great social setting. Uh, you have some participants who weren't um, comfortable quite yet getting in the water, so we had to make sure that there were things for them to do at the fun-filled beach day. Just a little bit more with logistics. Uh, it was great for us to involve the, our PEAS population, uh, getting children with physical disabilities uh, to this event, and the non-water activities. So as I mentioned earlier, we had participants who weren't comfortable getting in the water. Uh, we were able to do yoga on some of those mats. Um, so the participants who didn't get in the water had a great time. We were able to sit on the beach, enjoy the sand, and get some yoga from some of the yoga instructors who volunteered as well. Benefits from this event. Uh, I have a few quotes uh, that I, I found on local. The Sun Sentinel covered this. Uh, Channel 7 covered it as well. Uh, uh, Gil, he's a former para, Paralympian. He said this event will give us the ability, us being the physically disabled community, uh, as everybody else to be a part of the community. Uh, another participant went on to say, once I'm in the water, I hop all over the place. I'll be drip, dripping. Just getting, me is, is, just getting me in is the hard part. Uh, and that's what this event stands for, just making it accessible for those individuals with physical disabilities. Uh, this event allowed me to experience the beach after my accident for the first time. A lot of our participants uh, suffered traumas, tra traumatic accidents. Others born with physical disabilities, but the majority, whether it be a car accident, uh, a lot of them are car accidents. You'll see a lot of spinal cord injuries from car accidents. And a lot of those participants' lives have changed after these traumas. So it was very important that we make it uh possible for them to live active and social lives through events like this. This is a quote from one of the volunteers. Volunteering at this event was reward, very rewarding. It opened my eyes and my heart for the physically disabled community. I don't know who, who received the, much, the most in return, the volunteers or the participants. Uh, the volunteers walked away from this event uh, just in awe. Uh, the return uh, the morale, the social responsibility, the commitment to community that you walked away with knowing that you were involved in making this day happen was amazing. I've attached a few references just on the Sabrina Coin Foundation. If any of you guys are interested in volunteering, please visit her website. They do a beach days uh, twice a month, depending upon the tides. And it's just a great event to be a part of.